Hey, welcome back to Chat About It. Don't chat about it with me, Rachel, aka the Queen of the Work, because who could be more woker than I? Before we get started, we are trying to get to 400 subscribers on t- on this channel, so please do hit that subscribe button. We're going to be taking a look at a uh, tweet um, from someone. Let me just bring it up here. Okay, so this is from uh, Dr. Jebra Jebra. I think I pronounced that correctly. Uh, Falshi and They've found this OnlyFans model was outraged because the school called her to pick up her son, who had thrown up. Now, this had ruined her plans, and she was going to sit in the car and rant about it. Now, I've not yet watched this, but I thought it might make for an interesting video. Let's see what her reaction is about having to pick her son up from school. Okay. So... Okay. Wow, I didn't expect that. Okay. Let's carry on. Today. Just just downright motherfuckers today. Wow. Heavy I language. I had to come up here at fucking eleven o'clock in the afternoon. That's prime time when that's prime time. That's prime time only fans, baby. But listen, so that's partly why I'm cranky, but I'm cranky because my child, my child is 10. I had to come up to the school and I had to pick him up. Why? Why did I have to fucking pick this kid up? I had to pick this kid up because he's a man. Okay. He's a little man and he's got a weak ass stomach like fucking most men do. That's not a way to talk about your child. Your child is 10. Children get sick. Children have to build up their immune systems. So somebody busted ass in the library. He threw up not one time, not two times, but three times in the library. Fucking, literally, the nurse calls and she's like, you're going to have to come pick up your son because he just vomited three times in the library, like exorcist style, all over the place. Okay. So he's vomited. The nurse calls and says, you're going to have to pick him up. I'm sure that's probably because there's a protocol and there's all sorts of bugs that come from vomit and they can't actually guarantee that this isn't a virus. Why? He's not even sick. Um, Some kid farted next to him and he said that it made his stomach feel bad. So I... So he could have actually already been feeling sick and maybe because, you know, children... Children um, don't always, from my experience, not that I actually have any kids, but, you know, from working around children for so many years, children, well, my brother, okay, my brother was a sick child. He used to say that he used to have um, a headache in his stomach. So, you know, they would uh, tie something to something uh, that would make them feel unwell. They may not always realize that perhaps that it's actually something else that's causing it to interrupt my day be- your be- day because some kids got a rank asshole that's a new kind of skin block what that's some that's some bullshit and i was like does he have to pick up like can we can it be like an hour <laughs> can we like work something out and he was like mm, he needs to be picked up immediately because he threw up he threw up because he has a weak stomach what about the kid who busted ass so fucking bad that he cleared out an entire goddamn library? That seems like a problem. He seems like he should get some medical attention. Wow. Just because he farted? Not my kid. Not my kid who's just got a weak stomach. Damn. It's not... Uh, I have... I'm gonna Kool Aid man through. I'm gonna Kool Aid man through the side of a wall today. That's what I'm gonna do. Yep, I'm gonna do because I'm pent up and I got a lot of aggression. Right. Okay. So let's let's uh, think about this now. Obviously, we don't know her son. We don't know this lady's son. He may very well just have a weak stomach. But like I said earlier, you know, kids quite often do. 
especially the younger they are, associate perhaps it with something else that some of the girls that made them sick or this that made them sick. They may not always make the connection. However, however, every school that I've worked in, uh, every preschool that I worked in as well, have a policy. If the child vomits, they have to go home because you cannot guarantee you cannot guarantee that this isn't a virus. This isn't a bug that's going to spread like wildfire through through the school. The cleaner probably had to disinfect that library from head to toe in order to make sure that there was no virus, uh, potential virus spreading. And everyone who was in, a li in the library, all of their parents would have had to have known that a child was sick that day, so they may come down with a bug. You know, you just got to pick up your kid. You got to care for your kid. You know, weak stomach or not, you have to pick up. You have to pick up your kid or get someone to pick up your kid. Um, so you know, and the comment section, you know, people are not happy. Poor kid. Hope dad's working towards full custody. What the f is eleven o'clock in the afternoon? Actually, I didn't realize she said that. But there you go. Um, there are people who are who deserve children and can't have them. Then there's her. If your child is an inconvenience, you don't deserve and deserve them. Um, this girl thinks she's being funny, charming with her voices and her quirky and animated mannerisms. She fancies herself as a stand-up com comedian of sorts. Some dude probably told her that she was funny once to get her <laughs> to get in her pants, and now she thinks she's Amy Schumer. I think that's pronounced correctly. Um, Predicting this turnout to be satire comedy, like that leave Britney alone guy, it's impossible. This is serious. <laughs> with a <laughs> with a poke uh with her face in that position that she made when she was talking about men have weak stomachs, you know, because we're all strong and independent, but men are weak, right? Apparently. Um yeah, so you know, the, the comments are a general consensus, you know, pick your child up from school. If the child has a potential bug, you don't want that spreading throughout the school. And pay attention to your child. Feel for your child. Your child is sick. The child is not feeling good. The child could do with some love and attention from the mother. Because that's what mothers do. They look after their children when they get sick. My mummy always did. But, yeah, I mean, getting on the on the internet, and ranting about it well what do you think is that some kind of attention seeking what is going on here i mean would you leave your child in school sick even if the child does have a weak demeanor would you do that i mean if i was a parent i certainly wouldn't do that and i certainly wouldn't get on the internet and rant about it but there we go. That's just me. That's just me. But I do know also where schools stand on children being sick in school. Let me know what you think. Chat about it. Don't chat about it. And I will see you soon. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.